coin ops back at it again with a tarashi 2 max and yeah look at these these bezels the right and left side here you got felicia you got all our moves there but uh this is what the front end looks like you know it's like hundreds of games uh specializing in arcade games everything from shoot 'em ups to racing games to gunners you you name it even some light gun games uh which are being added and so this is the latest and greatest was released in february this is a free build um and it's just beautiful and so in this video we're going to go ahead and uh, load it up we'll show you the readme file um, a lot of people put these in arcade cabinets you can uh, get an old couple hundred dollar computer and it's going to run this just fine it has uh, arcade games and console a little a little a little bit of smothering of uh, console games as well um, some Sonic some some um, some uh, Mario Kart things like that and um, here we have Killer Instinct the arcade game and look at this the bezel on the left side of the screen with those high def images that's pretty rad I was not expecting this when I first booted up the the build and so you're gonna have this beautiful collection of games you know beautiful front end what we're looking at now themes custom themes you can customize this thing like crazy like i said people drop these in arcade cabinets or you can put it in an old pc or put it on your primary pc whatever it's got so many use cases it's not going to be your every game ever build like i have many videos on but it is going to be clean and uh well well done as far as this is like their you know 10th iteration so it just gets better and better and better so in this video let's check out the themes check out the games everything you need to know about this new build so here are your themes perfect so you get the arcade theme here you've got the controls on the right side there you got a wheel um, you're in an arcade you're in like an old-school arcade room right pretty cool this one it seems like it just takes out that background and it only shows you one arcade at a time um, I'm not a big fan of this but if you're a minimalist I think it's pretty cool it really highlights the cabinet it doesn't distract from it move into the cabinet theme uh, you can see it has a, a horizontal menu at the top and it goes through the games that way uh, remember you can always sort the games differently like go to consoles only things like that really easily this one I actually liked a lot, the Cabinet 2 theme, where you have, instead of uh, the actual um, logo, like the, the font, the, the branding at the top, the logo, you have more of a, like a, you know, like a box artwork kind of thing going on. You know, obviously these arcade games didn't have box artwork, but it kind of has the equivalent, if you will. Moving on to cascading. So cascading is you have multiple video snap, you have multiple previews going on, the ne the game that's coming next in your rotation, and then the current one, right? So it's like a, it's like a waterfall, cascading waterfall. You have you know, different things coming in and out. It flows. Um, that one's really cool. I like that. The clean theme. Okay, so looks like you got on the bottom right, you got the logo, you got the marquee in the upper left, you got the video snap preview, you get the arcade cabinet look, and you get a high definition image. Uh, kind of blown up in the background there. Yeah, it is very clean. Not a lot going on. You can really focus on the, um, you know, the game you're looking at. Fade theme. So I imagine the fading has to do, yeah, you can see it kind of turn to black in between games here as you change. There's a little bit of black. So it fades in, fades out. Very similar to the, to the clean, although the menu's at the top. The logo's not in the bottom right. All right, Legends theme. So um, this one's cool, full full, um, full screen image basically. So this is what the game will look like when you actually load it up on your on the computer. You press start, you know, you run the game. It's gonna look like this. You're gonna have you know the um, the bezels on the right and the left. You can see the scan lines you're about to uh, experience in the game. Uh, that is the Legends theme. When you got the horizontal menu that fades out. The menu, if you notice, if you stay on a game, the menu fades away. Legends 2 theme. So really cool. You got the high definition artwork as you scroll through the games. You don't have that menu at the top. And so it really highlights the gameplay. Marquee theme. So uh, you're going to see the marquee in the upper left on the arcade cabinet itself, but you're also going to get the marquee here on the right. That's looking good. I'm a fan of the marquee. I've always liked this one. 
I just think marquees are so fun. Like if you ever build your own arcade cabinet, it's the marquee that shines through. You know, that's that's what draws people in, is that lit up marquee. Spin theme, am I familiar with this one? Ah, oh, yeah, so the menu at the bottom is a spinning wheel. All right, so it's kind of like the clean theme, but uh, with the with the spinning wheel on the bottom. Um, and then no logo. The logo is the one that's spinning on the bottom. And then you can also see it on the marquee as well. Spin two. So this one has the logo on the bottom right. Okay, so they move that kind of spin wheel to the right, which is really interesting. It, it doesn't allow you to see the previous game or the upcoming game, which to me is, you know, a little counter. I, I would like to see what's coming up next, but um, it's it's definitely clean. It gives it doesn't it you know this one, um, you know it's got a lot more going on. It kind of really puts that the bottom right as a as a minimalist thing. Um, and highlights the gameplay there. That's cool. I mean, it's so it's so cool that there's so many options. So now we have finally have a menu on the right. I think we saw one menu on the right so far with us with a with a wheel. This one is just literally up and down vertical. Um, you got the high definition background image on the right. You got the cab on the left. Vertical two. Okay, so this gets rid of the whole arcade cabinet and it just focuses on the game and puts the wheel the navigation on the right. Wall theme. So. Kind of like cascading, but if you notice the cascading, they kind of bleed into each other. This one has a distinct separation from different cabinets. Um, I'm, I'm a fan. I like the wall theme. It's pretty cool. No menu, as you see here. It just you go by the cabinets. Wall 2 looks like it's, it's basically like a night version of that. Everything is kind of... At, this is like daytime. A lot of bright lights here. If you look here, this is nighttime. Think about going to an arcade lounge late at night. You know, this is what it might feel like. Um, that's cool. And then we're at wheel theme. So this is like your hyperspin kind of look. I mean, this this is very much, there's some that uh, that are almost very identical, but you know, that's the thing of with coin ops, what they've done is there's something for everybody. Wheel two theme here. What's the difference? Okay, yeah, so they get rid of the high definition image. They just focus on the actual game video snap preview. And you don't see the, the arcade cabinet either. You see part of it. You see, oh, that's just the bezel that you're seeing. Okay, day bezel. All right, so it gives you, um, you know, the, the, this is the brightness. So super bright bezel, a little bit slider, and lights out. I think I'm using lights out or night on um, the majority of the uh, of this video. And you can either disable them. If you don't like the bezels at all, you can, or you like, you don't like them that they change all the time. You can use single uh, glass effects, reflective glass effects. These are just different uh, um, things you can do to the image. You know, scan lines is a big one that a lot of people like. And uh, depending on the game you want to play, you could do all kinds of stuff. You got the background music, split console, startup video, turn it off, arcade, theme, and then we're back at the theme. Wow. So. Wow, wow, wow. I love that. So, so, so easy to use. And you see there, there's 863 arcade games. So you got your 1900 games. Your, your, even that, this PlayStation 4, uh, 3 game, but I guess it's in there. Uh, looks like arcade might have all the games then. Well, I guess, the, I guess, yeah, that's, I think they put the, uh, the PlayStation 3 game because it's arcade based, you know, initially. But they had it for a lot of consoles. So, anyways, same with like bad dudes and stuff. So, anyways, uh, a lot of games here. 863. We're just going to go ahead and, and go through them. Even Battletoads, another game, console and arcade. But uh, as we're going through the games here, you'll be able to see them in the upper on the top of your screen. And, um, just a beautiful, um, beautiful front end here. You can see all the different arcade cabinets, everything from the different button colors they used to the wraps they used on them to the uh, T-molding that they used on it, right? Like some use black, some use chrome, some use white. Um, you also have uh, the marquee. Can't really see the marquee as well in this particular 
theme that we're on, but if you're into that, there's the marquee theme. So it looks like there's some console games in here as well. So it's, I think this is going to be all your games in arcade. So um, you're also looking at console games here as well. So this should be all of them. Die Hard Arcade, what a fun game. We're into D now. And remember, you could see, this is a lot, right? I'm scrolling through a lot. I could just hit down on my on my controller at any point and sort these out by genre, by year, by manufacturer, by controls, by number of players. But I am resuming now back from D. There's even uh, Dragon's Lair uh, on here as well. So I do review a lot of builds on my channel um, lately. You know, there's a lot of these pre-done hard drives. And, um, you know, what I find is a lot of people don't like to build these thing, things themselves or they're intimidated by it. And so CoinOps is another great option for you. Uh, you'll see on the README file, they, they have a Discord that you can join. And, um, you know, they've been making these builds for a while now. And uh, each one gets better and better. What particularly impresses me about this one is the, um, I don't know when they started doing that, but the, um, I forget what they call it, but where you're in a game and the bezels, the interactive bezels, they change depending on what players you choose. Especially in fighting games where you don't know all the moves of all the different characters, you know, it'll go ahead and post those moves up for you, like in Killer Instinct, for example, that I played earlier or later. I don't know where I'm going to put it in the video, but I was playing it before I'm recording this part. And uh, it was really cool that that was there. And then uh, the graphics, right? That's something that this is all about. I know they've also been going uh, harder into the uh, light gun, which is awesome. You know, a lot of people like uh, classic light gun games as well. So... Um, that's cool to see. We've already passed a few light gun games and I know there's the gun IR out now and there's the Sindon light gun and all the other ones. You can even just use a Wii remote if you want to. And so being able to play those gun games is also really cool. So that's cool that they're including that. But, uh, the graphical changes, all these new themes, I don't know which ones are new. I know that it seems like there's a couple new ones, but I lose track. You know, they have so many themes. It just seems really well uh, done. This one does have background music when you first boot up. Uh, you can pause the background music by just clicking in your right uh, analog stick. Uh, typically, that's the R3 button, and that'll pause the music for you. You can also just go into settings and do disable music, or you can go into the file system there, and there's, like, advanced... Um, you know configurations and there's a little d a bat file in there that will um that will uh, you just double click it and it will go ahead and disable that for you but uh as you see quite the collection of games um so graphically not only there's the themes there's these high definition images they're putting in the background there's all the different arcade cabinets and then different themes use different assets. Um, there's something else I'll show you later in the video. I'll show you the README. But also the, the way the file system is all structured in this one is just so easy to use. Uh, it's not intimidating at all. As far as adding games, uh, they do mention, yeah, you know, feel free to add your own games. They don't plan to add any packs, though. They, they kind of see this as a standalone finished build. And it's a nice little uh, standalone build. Like nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, but yeah, they tell you you can. And they also share with you that there are some unofficial coin ops packs. And, um, you know, I know there's some people out there still running coin ops next to with like all those different packs that came out a while ago. And uh, good for you. I mean, that's a great build. Um, but this is a cool one because you can literally just go and grab it, install it, install two or three prerequisites and you're you're gaming. Right. It's, it's looking really good and you're doing great. Uh, no, no, uh, you know, there's no like con controls you have to mess with, you know, it just works. Uh, Xbox, I do recommend you get an Xbox 360 controller if you are a newbie. Uh, it just works. There's nothing to play with whatsoever. All your hotkeys are done. Everything. Um, 
But uh, you'll see later, if you do want to use this in an arcade cabinet, see, like, I talked about the light guns. Time Crisis. Great light gun game. And uh, there's going to be quite a few of those in here, which is nice. Uh, I am noticing they are adding more games, too. It seems to me this is, this pack is, you know, has some of the, the biggest collection I've seen to date. Like, you know, obviously it's not thousands more games, but it is uh, more games. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of these mega builds. I have to say, like, most of these games in here are really good games, one. And then, two, you still wouldn't have enough time to beat all of them in your lifetime. Unless, unless somebody proves me wrong. Upload a video. Prove me wrong. All right, so that's going to be it for the games. We have 15 more games here. And I just wanted to go ahead and check um, Zombie Raid, another good light gun game. Uh, I'll go ahead. So we're back at 1941. I did want to go to consoles, though. Actually, it does look like they're not all in there. Yeah, because like 1080 is not in there. Okay. So certain console games were in there. So you might want to go to consoles if you do want to play console games. There's a hundred console games. Yeah, I didn't see Aladdin in there either. So these are going to be your Super Nintendo and Nintendo. If you notice uh, the arcade cabinets in the background here, they're going to go ahead and tell you, like, Doom. I think it might even be the PC version of Doom. I'm not sure. Um, you have uh, all your games, all the F-Zeros here. You got quite a bit of Game & Watch. I think they just threw that in there for fun. I mean, some people like that stuff. I usually don't play them, but they are they are cool looking. Uh, you got your Zeldas. And then, is this alphabetical? Yeah, so L for Legend of Zelda. And then M. So this is going in alphabetical order here. Mega Man, Metroid, Prime. So you have things like Dreamcast, things like that. I did say earlier in the video, this thing doesn't have a lot of system requirements. Some of these games in the consoles, like for GameCube, will, and like PS, this is PSP right here, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. Those might struggle a little bit on a $100 computer. You know, if you have a $200 computer, probably run 300 for sure. But um, like SNES, Super Nintendo, all that stuff, uh, no, no problem whatsoever. All right, so this is going to wrap up the console games for you. And uh, there you have it. So, Coin Ops. Really good stuff. Let's go ahead and check out the rest. All right, I did just want to show you um, the advanced configurations here. You could turn background music off, turn bezels on and off. You have so, all you do is you double click these files, and it automatically makes these effects, uh, you know, uh, apply. Uh, what's really cool too is they have like restore defaults. Like if you mess with all those and you don't know what happened, you can always double click this. It restores all the the things to their original settings, which is great, especially for newbies. And then the one-ups here, um, you know, my understanding is you could just, I could just literally pull, you know, pull this up and it starts playing. What I do really like about this is the red one-ups over here that have, the, there it is, called the dynamic bezel. I think I called it an interactive bezel. But um, as you'll see here, the dynamic bezel games uh, were something I was not, I had no idea they were working on this. I had no idea they existed. And uh, it was pretty freaking cool. So as you see here, this one's not as cool with that little scroll there. But, um, you know, like, for example, let's try X-Men or Street Fighter. Um, some of them actually have, um, you know, the little cheat sheets on them. Where they add them. Just the symbols. The symbols are cool. So adding those symbols there, like we saw in X-Men or Street Fighter. Read me here. They are talking about what the differences are in the latest builds. This one just released uh, this month, February 2022. Four, um, has the multi-playlist builds. Okay, that's going to be your big difference here. I am going to be showcasing the max build. So um, here we go. Here it'll be this one. So not this page, but this page. We'll be doing the max. There's a non-max. It has 922. I'm going to be doing the max 969. Typically, yeah, it has more consoles in it. Um, it's going to be the big difference. Um, but you could go ahead and, and see it here. It looks like a couple more arcade games, main games. You see that goes from 855 to 863. Console game jumps up almost double. And then uh, the playlist, game for the um, playlist. But um, the total amount of console games and arcade games is going to change. If this is your first time installing uh, CoinOps, it's fairly easy. You can see there's just three programs here. Here's going to be your controller hotkeys. It works really well with the Xbox 360 controller. Um, but you'll notice as I scroll to the bottom here, they actually have some nice setups, whether you're using the Zinmo 10 uh, board here, the controller, you can see it on the bottom here, um, or the iPad 2, even better. I mean, this is kind of the creme de la creme, especially if you have a you know pretty serious arcade stick. 
And then you got the the cheapo uh, zero delay boards, which you can find these on Amazon and stuff for super cheap. But, um, you know, I would say CoinOps is a, a great arcade build. So it's cool that they have support for that. They also have support for double marquee, dual monitor, if you will. Um, it's here on the third one. And then they talk about the themes, you know, that it'll just change the looks. It will not change the number of games that are shown. A little bit about controllers there. Uh, but what I did want to say on this screen here is with the prerequisites, um, I think it also says later about putting it on a hard drive. Um, it says, you know, an SSD would be ideal. There you go. Best results are obtained by using a fast internal drive. Yeah, I mean, yes, if you have an internal drive that's fast, you don't want a spinning drive. It's, you know, you might lose some speed there, especially if it's USB 2.0 external hard drive. But, um, you know, this thing can run on a, on a $100 computer. You know, it's going to play most of the games just fine. Um, so that's what's so cool about it. That's what I love is it's a standalone build. Don't need a lot of horsepower to run it. It's a nice little setup, and the arcade is just beautiful. All right, so now some gameplay. You can see that the bezels are kind of blacked out. I have it on night mode right now, but you can absolutely brighten those up. And uh, later I'll show you those dynamic bezels as well. Um, that I kind of previewed already, we'll get into that. But um, Marvel vs. Capcom, as you see, it has the scan lines on. It looks just like the classic arcade did. It looks really good. So here we got some Neo Geo. We got Metal Slug 3. Um, again, the bezels are in night mode. It looks great. I just ate a little too much food, and uh, my shirt no longer fits me. And so uh, running really good, no lag, it looks great, really good. So, console games. <clears throat> I didn't play any crazy console games, um, like, you know, GameCube or above. You know, I just want to play some Mega Drive just to show you. And you're going to have those uh, bezels unless you change them out. And then these are the default effects that are on. And as you see, it looks really good. I'm like in the night mode. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more relaxing. And uh, so where do you get this build at? Um, this build, the, the, what they recommend, you know, is getting it through backups.me. I actually have a video on my channel on how to gain access to backups.me, but uh, that is their official uh, site, you know, and they say, you know, other people will re-upload this build and they can't, you know, they can't say that that was properly re-uploaded and repackaged. So they say, you know, please make sure you do it the, the way that they say. Uh, but it is free. If this is all free, there are some hurdles you have to jump through. So, you know, again, I understand some people don't want to do that, um, but it's for many reasons. And, um, you know, it's fairly, you know, once you once you start doing it, it's, it's not too hard. So free to get. It's about 166 gigabytes, the way it sits right now, un unrarred, you know, uncompressed. And um, you just unrar it, you install those... Uh, initial files that are in the folder, in the main folder, and then you can run it. You can run it on an external hard drive, you can run it on your internal hard drive, uh, you just need to, um, you know, extract it, and then uh, Xbox 360 controller hooks it up, and you're good to go. So, uh, what are the pros and the cons of this build? Well, I think the biggest pro is it's free. Uh, another pro is they've been doing this for years, and they just keep up and up and up in their game, so it's definitely a well um, groomed and uh, mature product at this point. And so uh, that shows through the artwork and the details, things like that. Uh, I'm gonna continue the pose, but here we go. We have a dynamic marquee. We have the opponent on the right thunder and all his uh, combos and moves. And then you have uh, Glacier, uh, my guy on the left and all his moves. So it's nice, especially if you don't know the moves or, or for a particular character, you could try things out, it's, it's helpful. Um, you know, it's all in the details, and this is a detail I was not expecting. Um, and it's really cool. I think it's such a cool little feature. So there's another pro for you. It's just tons of themes, tons of customization, and it's one click. These are all one click things. The, the simplicity of this build is just amazing. Here's another interactive bezel. You can see your, your, your players and their stats on the left. Um, so a lot of pros there, cons. The cons are, you know, a lot of people already have a CoinOps build. They don't want to download another one. I get it. You know, your original one, your CoinOps Legends or Next2 or whatever, you know, you might not need it. 
you know, you might just be fine without it. So that might be a con. Um, another con being that it's fairly a standalone build. A lot of people like to download a build and then build onto it, you know, drag and drop a bunch of games. You can do that with coin ops, but um, a lot of people don't. You know, it's just like a one download, you play it. Um, another pro I'd say is how arcade friendly they are. Like putting this in an arcade cabinet is super easy. Everything from the second screen marquee to the, you know, wiring your, your, um, your controller boxes, however you're going to do that with different encoder boards. So um, that's what I think. You know, let me know what you all think. It's a beautiful build. It's, it might be worth checking out. I'll put links in the description. Uh, let me know what you think. That's what I think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.